after high octane campaigns in the Mount Kenya region. <laughs> President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto switched to prayer mode. <laughs> With the president flying to Vihiga for a church service. Right. While the deputy president was hosted in all Kalau Nyandarua County for a similar event before taking Jubilee campaigns to Naivasha. The president staying away from politics while officiating the launch of a Friends Sky Moses Missionary Hospital. Indeed, as you are aware, in the past four years, my government has made great investment in healthcare by expanding and improving the infrastructure. My government has equipped Vihiga County referral and Amuhaya hospitals. Let me also record our appreciation for the role of missionary churches, the role missionary churches have played in the promotion of the welfare of our people. The head of state rooting for peace during the campaign period. But as a country, we are on a campaign mode. But this event has given me great pleasure because it shows how Kenyans should always be remain focused on development and service delivery. We have had His Excellency the President pledge, not once, twice, and he has said in the unlikely event that he loses the election, he's ready to accept the results. He has also challenged his colleagues, and we are urging the church to also challenge them that if they also lose the election, they must also tell Kenyans that they will accept the results. <laughs> Ruto began his Sunday at the All Kalau PCEA before addressing Jubilee supporters in All Kalau town. In the afternoon, the DP doing a quick tour of Naivasha in Nakuru County where he assured IDPs of fair resettlement. In the next one and a half months, the DP criticizing NASA principal Raila Odinga pledge to legalize traditional brew popularly known as Chang'a should he assume power in August. <laughs> Stephen Little Citizen TV, Nairobi.